hi guys hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Florence and this is my YouTube channel so thank you guys for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel this is your first time here thank you very much for visiting my page and please let this not be your last always reset if you've always been here thank you so much for supporting me I appreciate a lot thank you for liking sharing and commenting on my videos don't always don't forget always comment on my videos like and comment criticism is not a disease for me like and comment guys i will always be here to reply every one of your comments okay so today um i'm going to be working on an asymmetric circle dress with a little pop hand and this is actually what i'm wearing right now okay so that's what i'm going to be working on like my asymmetric is not that low because i don't want my boobs to be showing in at any slide i don't even want it at all so actually made really high so i can wear it to church i can wear it anywhere i choose to wear it so so it's high enough to wear anywhere okay so if you want your own lower fine you can just follow through my video as i'm about showing you guys and cut yours as low as you want high as you want it all right so stay with me learn with me let's learn together and leave your comments below don't forget so for the lens we're going to be using from our shoulder to our waist measurement mine is 16.5 inches so i'm going to be adding extra one inch because i'm i'm going to be imputing my dart at the bust side of this top so to get the back piece of this top get the widest part plus extra two inches for our zipper allowance Place your front piece on top of that two inches zipper allowance line and cut it out. So this is the two. This is the front and the back piece for the top. So moving on, we're going to start by measuring our shoulder like we always do. Measure your shoulder. After measuring your shoulder, you come down with one inch slope. After measuring one, your one inch slope downwards, you impute your arm hole measurement. After imputing your arm hole measurement, the next thing is to divide your arm hole by two. You're going to be coming in with one inch. So impute your bust measurement plus your desired allowance. Impute your waist measurement on your waistline. After imputing your waist measurement, you add your desired allowance. And don't forget, we're going to be adding one extra inch to our allowance. Why? Because that one extra inch for the waist allowance is going to be for our back dart. You know, for our front dart, we're going to be putting the dart at the bust side. Why? For the back dart, we're going to be putting the dart at the back. From now, we're going to be rolling two extra lines. So moving forward, we're going to be measuring the neck. So we're going to be using 3x3 three three for the neck, for the wideness of the neck. 3x3. Three three. That's what I'm using for mine. If you know you're, if you know you are a size 12, you're going to be using 3.5 three and a half. Three and a half for the wideness, 3.5 also for the length. Okay, so you can fit in properly for your neck. After that, you curve the neckline. After measuring the neck, Okay, connect the neck to your shoulder slope after connecting the neck to your sh shoulder slope so because you are placing the two front piece together that's the front and the back piece for the top together we're going to be curving two arm o curve the first the first arm o curve is for the front pattern while the second arm o line the second arm o curve is going to be for the back arm o curve cut out from the extra one inch allowance we gave you cut your arm o Cut it from the second arm o line. After cutting it out, you cut your shoulder slope. For the neckline, because it's an asymmetric kind of dress, for us to cut out that neckline, 
just notch it, notch from the neckline. Remove the back part of it and place just the front piece on the back arm hole that we cut out. We are going to be cutting out the front arm hole now. The extra one inches that we left for the back that we are going to be cutting it out now. Just cut it out. After cutting it out, the next thing we're going to be doing is measuring the dart. <clears throat> you measure 10 inches from your shoulder to get your bust point. That's from your shoulder to your nipples, your bust point. We measure towards the edge of the fabric 2 inches in a slant manner. After measuring 2 inches, from under your arm hole, you come down by 2 inches. After you come down by 2 inches, that 2 inches line, you measure half an inch on both sides to give us 1 inch, alright? So after then, you connect the lines. Repeat this same measurement for the other side. That's for the left and the right part of the top. The next thing we're going to be doing is measuring the back that my nipples nipple is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we're going to be going in by 4 inch four inches on that four inches line you measured half an inch on both sides to get that one inch that we added on the waist so from your shoulder you measure nine inches downwards after measuring nine inches so now after doing that connect the line just the way i'm doing mine do it on both sides I'm doing now I'm holding the front that together at the both side the left and the right side I'm holding it down so after holding it down I place it on top of the back um the back pattern of the top so after placing it I was I observed that the, the two edges of the front part of the fabric is, is shorter than the back so now I'm going to be cutting it equally like cut it straight equally so I can have an equal length for the top I'm cutting to get the right length and equal length measurement don't forget that the neck part of this top at the neck part we didn't cut out the neck we only notched it don't forget we notched the neck so that point that you notched okay that's the point i'm going to be marking now just so i'm doing mine i marked it after marking i'm going to be curving the line from my arm hole i'm going to curve it to make that marked part that i notched before after covering the lines, you cut it out. Just do what I'm doing mine. Cut the back and the front together. Cut it out. After cutting it out, the next thing you're going to be doing now is that if you observe the back, one part of the back is higher than the other part of the back. So that is going to really affect your affect you while fixing your zip a little bit. So what I do, back pattern, I just cut a straight line. The next thing I'm going to be doing now is to slash open my zipper allowance, okay, slash it into two so I can have a two piece for the back. The down part of the zipper point, I always go in by half an inch to help the zip from not bulging at the back, like that bulging, mm -mm, it's in lines, so to help the zip from not bulging at the back. So moving on guys, we are going to be cutting the skirt part of this dress, two layer circle skirt, that's what we are cutting now how to fold in your fabric for a full circle skirt is you're going to fold your fabric by four meaning fold it into two one then fold it again that's into four make sure your fabric is wide and also this depends on your length what is your length? what length are you using now to get the waist measurement for your circle skirt is to divide your waist by eight plus two inches that two inches is for your zipper allowance don't forget we had this zipper to the skirt the other part of your tape that is at that pointed end of the triangle should stay put. Always move the down part so you can get that curve to get the circle right. We are going to be placing our tape from that line that we got from the 3.2 3 inches, okay? To get the length of your skirt plus extra 1 inches for your piping. So now move your tape around that line to get the full length of your what of your skirt so after measuring that you're done this next one you're going to be cutting out the second piece the first piece you cut is the shortest meaning the second piece you're going to be cutting now should be the longest so use the same to get the second piece all right guys
moving on i'm going to be cutting our sleeve i have my sleeve pattern already as you can see what i did was just i just added extra five inches at the both side of my sleeve after adding five inches i just traced it out and I, and I cut it straight so that five inches is going to get help me give that puffiness on the shoulders because i'm going to be um putting the gathers there so give us that puffiness and also i'm going to be add, attaching elastic on the on that part of the arm so i needed a lot of room to get that puffiness and i don't want my puffiness to be very big okay now we are going to be joining all the pieces together to form the dress what i'm going to be doing is to be old is to be sewing our that so i'm going to be holding the darts for the back piece the two piece holding the darts for this To cut an interfacing for the top part of this dress that's the front and the back piece i cut an interfacing for every part of the piece for the front just to make the neck line neat but if you know you don't want to interface your skin actually just bias you just use bias to pipe the neck to make it look neat but i prefer you use an interfacing and the interfacing i've ironed everything together and they're looking very flat as you can see and this is for the back piece And so a loose stitch at the two inches deeper allowance to hold the two back pieces together. We are, we are going to be stitching the, sh the both shoulders together, the back and the front shoulder. We're going to be holding it together with the interfacing. We're going to be holding everything together. I'm done joining the shoulders together. This is how it looks, it's looking neat. So the next thing we're going to be working on now is our sleeve. Okay, we're going to be attaching our sleeve now. So this is the sleeve. Don't forget that our sleeve is just one piece of the sleeve that we need. So I'm going to be running a five inches loose stitch at the top of our shoulder. So after running that stitch, I'm going to be dragging in to create my gathers. All right, and after creating my gathers, I'm going to be sewing, I'm going, I'm going to be attaching my sleeve to my top. So now guys, so what we are going to be doing is after attaching our sleeve, just the way it is now, I'm going to be piping around the arm tights, okay, because I'm going to be insert, I'm going to be inserting my elastic band at that point, okay, this point. So now I'm going to be joining the both side of my top together. After joining my both side, now I'm going to be attaching my elastic band to my arm tight. So moving on to the skirts okay this is the second part of the skirts this is how it is is round so that's the waist i'm going to be top stitching it to hold the two circle pieces together so now this is how it is after um joining the two circle pieces together this one so i have to take it to the floor so you can see how um wide it is this is how it is and i'm going to slash open the um circle okay to get so i can have a space where i can impute my zipper okay so i'm going to slash it now this is how we're going to be doing now so we're attaching our, our top to the circle okay so after attaching this how it will be looking just like this so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be measuring from top part of our zipper down to the circle part to know how long we want our zipper to be like me i'm going to be measuring measuring 12 inches for the length of my zipper that you fix your zip to your dress after fixing your zip to your dress the next thing i'm going to be doing is to be piping around the boot circle and this is how it's looking and after that i made a belt for my for the waist because i want my waist to be a little bit enhanced so guys this is the end of our tutorials so you can create yours thank you so much for viewing don't forget to comment like and share this video also bye